Hi, I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill, and this is another episode of Toy Talk. Today's episode centers around a DCP special trailer made for Matt's, the Mid-American Trucking Show. It was made by DCP to commemorate the 51st annual show. The tractor was nothing special, being just another A model Kenworth W900. But the trailer was. The trailer is the new Conestoga trailer tooling from DCP by First Gear. The trailer was emblazoned with the Matt's logo and Matt's 51 years on the sides. For more about Matt's and Conestoga trailers, See my videos with the links below. Another Conestoga trailer was made for Matt's before DCP was bought by First Gear. That tooling was hardly used before First Gear tooled up the new trailer. This leaves the original Conestoga trailer runs extremely limited to only a handful made, including the Matt's version. As a result, the scarcity of this truck and trailer set should cause this set to increase in value over the years and become one of DCP's most valuable truck and trailer sets. Now today, we're going to compare both toolings since there is one from each tooling for mats. And let's go on and look at another DCP truck recently made. It is a Kenworth with a Conestoga trailer. Not the old simulated canvas top that folds back like the real one, but a solid Conestoga top made from injected plastic. Simulated to resemble a Conestoga covering for a flatbed trailer. DCP did a nice job painting the top, but no matter how good it was painted, this top is plastic. DCP did a good job, but the top looks and feels like plastic. Oh wait, it is plastic. DCP by First Gear's excuse for making a simulated Conestoga top for their trailer out of plastic was the original realistic cover presented a pinching hazard. Maybe so, but it would have been a better solution if First Gear did not make any more Conestoga trailers rather than making a product that doesn't live up to DCP standards. As a manufacturer myself, I do know that the cost of manufacturing a 164 scale truck and trailer models have gone up. Inflation has hurt the entire toy industry on the wholesale and retail side of marketing toys. And First Gear is not immune from this. But to lower the standards of quality by eliminating features people have come to expect is not the way to save money. Especially when the wholesale prices keep rising even with less detail. And here are both of those trailers. This one over here is the original DCP tooling with the canvas tarp. And this one over here is the new first gear tooling that has the plastic top. Now let's compare both of these trailers because that is the big thing here. We'll start off here. The original has a really nice canvas cloth top. You can see it is cloth. You can see it's soft. You can see how I push in. You can see how it flexes. It moves. This one here will slide front from the back to the front. Well, I have to get past the original locks there. It'll slide that way. The back door will open, and you can see in the back door. It does have the nice flatbed trailer deck on it, the Wilson trailer deck, and it has, well, utility. It could either be a utility or a Wilson, it's the same deck. 
then you can slide it back and you can also go on and slide it from the front now it has some little lock in places so that it gets it snaps in place but it's not super great it, it doesn't make a perfect seal just like the real ones do but it's pretty good for a 64 scale model the other trailer now doesn't move doesn't come off they have screws here and here and i'm sure there are a couple more in the back that hold down the top it is fixed in place you can't take it off it doesn't open up the back door the back piece doesn't open it is just one solid plastic chunk put on top of it it does have screw down landing gear just like the others it has nice tin hole chrome wheels on it just like the other with soft rubber tires spread axle configuration with toolbox in between and then the mud flaps front and rear so there are some similarities in that regard they did put matt's logo on these mud flaps and they just put the diamonds on the old ones the new one has the utility logo right there brake lights dot lights and brake lights it's also a dot striping this trailer has the brake lights dot lights brake lights but no utility tampo logo right there also has the dot same on the undercarriage are the same the iccs are the same so they're both utility flatbeds with the utility roll tarps they both have the same chrome front with the utility logo tampoed up near the top you can see it there the dcp original dcp has utility there and it also has some warning and other instructions right here tampoed there on the new one they're underneath now that could be a utility change utility may have changed the placement of their warnings from where they used to to where they are but this piece is the same from both so there is a similarity there underneath we will look at the bottom of both of these trailers here and you will see that the bottoms are basically the same. So I would say they use the same flatbed undercarriage and then the front piece to build on, and then they added the change the top piece. But it's got the same thick rails on the outside, plus it's got the same frame, same everything looks identical. So I'd say that where they added here was they just changed the tarp mechanism. Now these here are extra thick because on the real ones they are. They're the sliders for the canvas tarp, which the real ones are really thick, and they have the slide bars for the tarps. Not necessary on this one, but it does keep it the same. On this upper one, you can see the DOT striping down the side underneath the solid tarp, whereas on the DCP version, the tarp basically covers it up, even though it is there. It's tampoed right there, but because of the way the tarp is, you can't really see it. It covers it. Personally, this new trailer, while it is simpler, easier construction, I get it. I understand the concepts and the assembly. This mechanism and all of these little scissor parts that you can see down the side of that trailer on the inside, they're on both sides do pose a major problem for assembly they are not easy and they do scissor you can see that and i can see how that could possibly pose a pinch hazard if you somehow get your finger in there but i don't see that it really can because i'm trying i got my finger in between them and it just won't pinch so i don't believe that's real i think that was just a thought as a way to claim as a as an excuse for cheapening the model and making it simpler was all of this detail originally necessary in the original? That's debatable. Probably yes. I would say the answer is probably yes, because SpecCast had already made the Conestoga 2 trailer, and they did it with a canvas top that worked. So if DCP had come out with one that didn't, I would imagine the collectors would have screamed bloody murder because... Well, somebody else had already done it. Had the SpecCast one not been out by the time DCP got around to this, I think it would have been a waste, really and truly. But now, 
Today, we have this one because they've discontinued the one below. They will not use that tooling again. And this one here is not DCP quality. It is a very cheap plastic and it feels and looks like plastic. It doesn't even look like canvas. They could have at least, you know, wrapped it with canvas and made it look like cloth, even if they wanted to not have the moving mechanism. Just wrap it with cloth. That would have looked better than just to make painted plastic. Now, their paint job on this particular one, I do think is really cool. They've released a couple other versions of this trailer, but still, I don't see this one being very popular at all because it is not up to DCP standards at all. This is, quite frankly, a major disappointment. Let me know what you guys think of this new trailer versus the old trailer. Did DCP go too much detail with theirs? Or did First Gear make enough to make everybody happy that they have a roll tart trailer? There is the two Conestoga trailers, the original DCP tooling and the new newly tooled First Gear tooling. Both of them in the delivery for Matt's, the Mid-America Trucking Show. It's held every year in Louisville, Kentucky. The original was for the 47th annual, and the new one was for the 51st annual, and this year was the 51st show. The value, or resale of toys, of all kinds is based on scarcity. The fewer toys manufactured of a particular kind of toy the more valuable it may become in the future. I predict that the Matt's 47th show truck will be more valuable than the Matt's 51st show truck because of the very limited quantities made of the original, higher detailed Conestoga truck and trailer sets. For more ways to make sure you're adding items that are likely to go up in value, grab my free PDF on tips for valuing your collection with the link in the description below. And don't forget to go on and check out the other videos on Matt's and Conestoga trailers with the other links. Thanks for watching. Please go on and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell so that you get notified about all of my coming videos.